My name is Philip Michael. I'm the founder of NYEG. I'm a real estate investor, tech investor, and entrepreneur. And today I'll be giving you five tips on how to own, your, own and buy your first investment property with very little money down. Number one, go out and find a mortgage broker and get yourself a pre-approval letter. Basically, a pre-approval letter tells you how much you can get approved for in terms of a mortgage. And now the cool thing about getting a uh, pre-approval letter, if this is your first deal, you can get what's called an FHA loan, which means you can go out and make bids and acquire a property with very little money down, as low as 3%. Now, once you have that, you can actually go out and start the process of making bids and buyers will take you seriously and that gets you that much closer to closing. Number two, find your deals. So the way that you do that, you can either find them off market, you can find them on sources like Zillow and Trulia, but unfortunately, because of the way the deal climate is right now, the best deals may not be on there. However, if you find a broker that knows exactly what type of deals you're looking for and how much money you have and how much money you need, then he or she can go find the deals that fit your criteria and you can start the process of actually making bids. Number three. Before you actually go out and make your bids, you gotta make sure you run your numbers. So when you look at a property, a good place to start is with a three family, because even with the FHA loan, you can do that with a single family property. But if you want your property to be an asset and make money for you, you have to make sure that you have other units, one that you can live in and others that you can rent out. What that does for you is that you can actually live rent free. That's, that's the first benefit. Secondly, you can make rental income and your property will now be worth more and then you can later leverage it, which we will get into in another uh, video. But, then, but the bottom line is run your numbers. How much gross uh, income will it generate for you? What will your expenses be? And what will your profits be? And once you have a property that matches your investment criteria, then you can move on and go out and actually make the bids. Which leads us to point number four, make the bids. All right. So now you have your broker. Your broker has three to five, maybe, deals that you like that you go, okay, I can actually see myself living here or buying this one or making something happen with this one. And once you do that, what I would recommend actually is take one that's been recently renovated because if it's your first rodeo, you don't have to do a lot of maintenance. You don't have to do a lot of work on it. You can just, it's called a turnkey investment. You can just go right in there and start, start working on it and, and learn as you go along. So now you put in your bids and Say, say someone accepts your bid, then you bring it to the last step before you actually get to have it on uh, your first deal under your belt, which is closing, which is step number five. Now, before closing, you got to make sure you do your due diligence. You want to make sure that there's no trouble with the property, that everything checks out, that your financing goes through, which it should because, of course, you've been pre-approved and you have everything in order, your ducks in row. You want to make sure that the title, which, and title is clear, meaning there's no tax liens on the property or anything else that might blindside you later. So once all that clears out, you get to closing and now the property is yours. And that's when you start the process, you know, pay, paying your mortgage and you lease it out and boom, you have yourself your first investment property that now will make money for you. And if you so choose, you live rent free and you can later leverage it to make even more money down the road. I'm Philip, and these are my five tips to owning your first investment property with very little money down.